this demonstration video we're going to have a very quick look at the configuration manager client settings within control panel uh, I've come into one of my devices that has the client installed I'm just going to click on my start button and all I'm going to do at this point here is just go into control panel then within control panel we're just going to come to our system and security within system and security we'll come to configuration manager and within configuration manager we can now see the properties relating to the client itself on the general page we have general information relating to the client so we can see the management point that's currently managing this device we can see we're using a self-signed certificate core management capabilities is one core management is currently disabled so even though the capabilities is enabled the core management is disabled we have our connection type is currently internet and we can see the site code as well if we come to the components tab within the components tab we can see the components relating to the client these can be enabled or disabled in a number of ways, but one of the ways to do this is through client policies. So we can currently see what's installed, what's enabled. If we look on the actions tab, this allows us to manually run actions against the client, or alternatively, we could wait for the client policy to actually do something with these settings. So for example, if we do modify the machine policy, what we may decide to do is rather than wait the seven days for the policy to be pushed out again, or 15 minutes, however long we specify, what we could do is we could run this now and we can run that manually. If we come to the site tab, we can see that this device is a member of site S01. If we look at the cache tab and just click configure settings, what we have is we have a client cache in this following location, SQL on Windows CMM cache, and that's currently 5 gig. And this just stores files that we can then, for example, if we download a software application, what we could do is rather than have to go back to the distribution point and get the files, we could pull them from this location. Alternatively, other devices on the same subnet could use this cache to download the software rather than have to go across an expensive network link in order to download the software from a distribution point. Configurations tab shows me any attached baselines and shows me if I'm compliant or non-compliant. So, for example, we may decide to tie down the desktop user goes against our settings and what we can then do is we can then see if this user is compliant or non-compliant and then what we could do is push the baseline back down again if we click on the network tab what we can see at this point here we can configure the computer to be managed over the internet so all we do at this point here is just specify our internet based management point fully qualified domain name and if we're using any proxies we could also specify proxy settings and that's the end of this very quick demonstration of looking at the settings associated with the configuration manager client. Thank you.